what's up guys welcome back to my channel now in today's video i'm going to be doing a video that has been requested by a few of you guys and that is an everyday makeup look for other school or work so what i did is i wanted to see how other people out there do their everyday makeup and naturally i went on to youtube to find how other people do it and i must say i was really disappointed because a lot of people when they are applying this makeup or when they are showing us how they do their everyday makeup they go through the whole process of contouring and highlighting and this and that and that but let's face it in the morning no one has all that time you have maybe 10 20 minutes tops because you want to be in and out and do your makeup as quickly as you can so that you can be on time for work or for school so this is what i'm going to be doing in this video i'm going to be showing you a simplified quick way that I do my makeup for work. So if you're interested in any of that, keep watching. Hold your pencil at the tip and then lightly go in like this. Seven waves into the night on the beaches of Hawaii. Drinks in my visa. Anywhere you want to go, baby, you just let me know. So after drawing the outline of my eyebrows, I am going to conceal with this. Conceal the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in shade um, Espresso. I like this shade because it's way closer to my actual skin tone. So I like using this when I'm on the go because it's easier for me to blend. So I'm going to use... The next step for me is moisturizing my face and I'm just going to be using this illuminating moisturizing cream by Bionard. It doesn't matter what moisturizing cream you use guys, you can use body lotion that's moisturizing or anything. Just make sure you moisturize your face and I feel like moisturizing is important even if you don't put on makeup. You still need to moisturize your face, you need to hydrate your face. So really important even on the days that you are yeah, not putting on makeup, make sure your face is taken care of by moisturizing and hydrating your face. The Yardley London Stay Fast Foundation. I've heard great things about it. I recently bought it. I've only used it once. I wasn't sure when I was in store because I couldn't try it and the color looked really light for me. But I decided to take it and I want to also to test it out in this video. It comes with a pump and I'm going to put a few pumps here. Right, and I'm using this brush today because I do not have time to go and put water and dampen my sponge and put it on. So this foundation is easy to put on is a plus it's really easy to blend you should get all these areas you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask because your foundation stops here and here so make sure you get everything you get everything So guys, in this next step, I'm actually going to set my foundation and I'm mainly going to set it under my eyes. Remember, we have no time. So there is no way in this world I'm going to be putting concealer because I do not have time. But what you can do is you set your makeup. I'm going to set my makeup under my eyes and I noticed I'm slightly darker under my eyes or rather it brightens me if I set my under eyes. So that's what I'm going to do. So you take, I'm using my revolution setting, making powder rather this right and i'm going to take a brush right take a bit of it okay so you take a bit of it right 
tap off the excess or blow it off if you're doing makeup on yourself and then you go in and then you set that foundation slightly you're not backing guys you're setting so you put it on top of also like what i said in my previous video setting your makeup right so the setting powder fills in the creases that you have on your face so that you don't have um, makeup that is going into your crease area so it's important and i'm also going to go here on my smile lines only because um i tend to crease here So what I am going to do now is I'm going to be using my powder, right, my compact powder, and I'm going to put it all over my face. Same motion, I like using this motion so that I get the powder in, onto my face. And then for my eyes, I'm going to go in quickly with this color. And then I'm going to line my eyes. I feel like it weakens my eyes up. I always, always, always apply eyeliner. And I'm just going to do this. not even going to be doing a winged look or anything like that because remember we're trying to get out of that door quickly okay and then i'm going to go in with my mascara i'm going to be using the essence slash princess mascara if you have watched any of my video you know i always use this if I'm, I'm going to be using this blush from Foshin. yes from Foshin. this brand is for Foshin. this was like I don't know, but this is really cheap, right? I'm just going to lightly go in, take a little bit. So, lining your lips is totally unnecessary. I just love it, I prefer the look, so I'm just going to line it. If you don't want it, if you don't have time, you can leave it, right? So, I will line my lip, right? And I'm going to be using this Pelagio lip gloss. Gorgeous. It's the color. I think, yeah, it is a Pelagio. I got it a long, long time ago. Right? And then I'm just going to go in. Oh, at this point I'm done okay I take my bag I go to work quickly however for this video this is totally again this is so unnecessary but for the aesthetics of things I'm going to put my lashes this will be like um, almost natural eyelashes and again this is solely for aesthetics when I go to work I do not put eyelashes I just put my mascara like this and go okay so I'm just going to come back with my lash and I'll show you the full look of it so guys stay tuned
So what you can actually do guys for this kind of makeup look differs from person to person. Some people have great skin that they don't need foundation so they can just put the eyeshadow and maybe lashes and contour a bit or something. You know what I mean? So it differs with pers from person to person rather. So what is important is to know what works for you. What I do on this channel is give you some basic tips of basic tips on what to do and how to do it and then you take it from there guys makeup is not textbook remember it's expressive you express yourself the way you want to thank you so much guys for joining me today on this quick quick video i hope you learned something until i come back with another video it's bye bye for now